Hey guys, Casey here. Today I'm gonna to go over how to set up a job using our tri-lock process on our Sportsman EX. Welcome back guys. Today we're going to go over our third installment for our quick tips. I'm actually using the tri-lock process for our on press with our screens. With our tri-lock already locked down on our arm, I'm going to hold the right reset button in and index the pallet over to my first screen. Remembering to use the pallet in front or behind the tri-lock to move the arms. You don't want to use the tri-lock pallet to move the arms on the press because you might loosen the pallet and hinder your registration. So now I have my tri-lock under my first screen. I'm gonna hit the left print button to have the carousels move up. I'm gonna pull my tri-lock over and down so my three points are hitting and I'll lock it down. Hit the right reset button to lower the carousel and I'm gonna repeat this step for the rest of my screens. While we're doing this, you could go ahead and double check your stroke length. Make sure you're going to be clearing your image all the way. And uh, you can also check your flood bar height and squeegee angle right now as well. All right, so now that we've, we're done locking all of our screens and using our tri-lock pallet, I'm gonna remove it and put my pallet back on. Now that, now that our screens are locked in and my tri-lock pallet's off, my old pallet's back on, now we can add ink. All right, so when we're adding our ink into our screen, you wanna be wary of not smashing the ink through the actual stencil because it'll cause inconsistencies in your prints. You want to just lightly add the ink, pulling it over from side to side, making sure that an entire squeegee and flow bar is going to catch this ink. Also, you want to make sure that the first print that you have a line up at the top so the squeegee has something to print. If you don't have any ink at the top and if it's a dry screen, you run the risk of pulling it out of registration or even ripping it. This is the time that I would go now and check my squeegee pressure. I like to set all my screens at about 40 PSI just to start. And after it starts printing and you're watching it print, you can make your adjustments then. After we have all of our ink in our screens, it's time to do our first test print. So we now have our final test print. Let's go ahead and look at it and see if everything's lined up correctly and also to see if there's any target marks left untaped or any pinholes. If you do need to make any adjustments, make them now using a micro registration. And also we can look to see where the placement of the image is on our palette so we know where to place our garment.
So this concludes our last video for our Trilock setup. If there's any questions or comments, leave them below. If you're not already, follow us, hit the like button, and stay tuned for some more quick tips.